Hello everyone and welcome to the 52nd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me else you'd like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to notify my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And starting off the first creation of the episode, we have the Grand Chess Game. This is, as it says, the name is going to be a chess game. It's designed by three creators. One is Euron Wint. We also have Link of the Cloud and Father Andrew. Now, I've seen a couple of games from them already in here in Stormworks. This is a regular uh, two-person classic chess game. It's got a whole bunch of logic in there along with it. It also has um, some robotic arms to actually go and move the pieces from what I can see here on the workshop. Uh, really cool. Definitely excited to get this spawned in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And starting off with the first creation, we've gone and spawned the chess game just here on the oil rig. Um, we can go and just get up on it. So it seems like we have the actual game here in the center of the platform. We also have a helicopter landing area where we can go and land the helicopter. Uh, we seem to have just a, seems like a platform just going around there where you can go and store your pieces. And then we also have the main platform that goes up. You can see all the chess pieces here. It looks absolutely awesome. Guessing these are the arms that you would use to go and move everything around. Uh, and let's go up and we seem to have, so this is just a screen, Lua screen, oh, really nice looking Lua screen though. Um, fixed desync or jammed arm, no. Okay, and you have your pieces. Okay, so white turn, white turn, so we're white. And then you can obviously, Frank can go and play there. So let's go and I'm guessing we have to go and select what we want. Okay, and it's giving us what possible moves. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's go and place that one there. And let's go have a look. So it goes, picks it up. Oh, that's awesome. That is really cool. Let's go to the other side. Let's see if we can do it. I want to try the uh, one of the horses. So let's go and drop it over there. Okay, let's get out. So it drops it. it goes, moves it. Oh, that's awesome. Really nice. That's a really cool invention. Um, I love that it's actually using these arms to pick up and move things instead of it just like moving on tracks and things underneath or magically moving. Uh, that is really cool. I love that. Nice large scale. The pieces look incredible though. Uh, obviously using the new wedges. Lovely creation to start this episode off. I don't think this has been done ever before. So big congrats to them on, on creating this. Let's go and move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Cam AZ43118. This is a creation done by Kick Civil. Now, this is meant to be a flatbed truck. Uh, really quite cool. It's got a little bit of a crane on the back there. It's got a, um, a whole bunch of features inside there, including a hill hold, there's ABS, there's obviously the crane on there. There's a couple different features like cruise control, um, there's climate control, radio communication, cab suspension, lifting, lowering of the cab, a uh, whole bunch of things going on there. It looks really cool. It's got a 12 speed robotic gearbox apparently, top speed about 105 kilometers per hour. Uh, uh, fuel consumption, there's a range of about 100 kilometers. Uh, it, it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, so let's go, let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this truck looks awesome. Um, really like the design, especially the cab. It's just it, it's just sitting really well on the body there. Um, seems like he's got a ton of paint blocks and a lot of detail on this. Uh, it looks incredible. You can obviously see inside the engine there. We have the main cab with some lights there at the top, some uh, imitation, I don't even know if those might work actually, uh, some windscreen wipers, we have the rear view mirrors over there, along with that the actual main cab, we'll go that in a couple of minutes, I'm not sure how we actually get in there. Uh, we have the aircraft engine just over there, it seems like there is a button on the other side, let's go and see what that does. Um, oh, so that goes and loads the cab so we can, oh that is awesome, really nice, love that. That's a nice, nice design there. Let's go and close that. Uh, let's go back around and see what else we have. So moving on, some batteries. We have main power switches there, breakers. We actually have the crane arm itself. Um, okay, it doesn't look like that's a seat. Um, possibly that's a seat up there that you can go and use. Uh, let's just see what else we have going around. So we have the actual flatbed, uh, which you can go and open the back of it. 
Oh, very nice. I love the detailing inside the paint blocks that he's gone and used there. Seems like he has a rear view spotlight. Nothing else really going along there. Some more detailing. Don't know what that does. Toggle button. Hmm. Maybe that slides something. Maybe let's try to open it again. Because that one opens that. Try that one. No, it doesn't seem like that one does anything. Okay, so let's go and close that and close that. Okay, and what else do we have? So we have just a release for the fuel. Okay, so nothing else really going on the outside beautifully though. Let's see if we can get up here. Okay, so this is the crane. So nice little crane. We have up, down, up, down, in, out, left, right, hydraulic pressure, manipulator on and off. Okay, connect on and off, and then we can go left and right, I'm guessing. Uh, turn that off, let's try. No. Up, down, no. Up, down, no. In, no. Out, no. Okay, so maybe they need some electricity somewhere. It seems like it has electricity though. Uh, let's go and get inside the door here. And let's get up into the cab and let's see what's going on in here. So we have just parking, ignition, get that on. Why not? We might need some power. Change channel, speaker. Okay, and a nice little bed here with some details at the back. Let's go and see if that crane is working now. So let's jump up. Ooh. Oh, so we needed power for the supports. Ah, I wonder what that does. Okay, that does nothing. So that's why we, okay, so that's why we can use the crane. Okay, so let's go jump up now. Let's check. So hydraulic manipulator on, left and right. There we go. Now you can do it. So you had to have the engine on. That is awesome. Back and right, turn it off. Does it reset? Oh, it just comes in. Okay. Uh, and then we have up, up again. Okay, let's go left and connector. We have out. Okay, so we can go and do that out. Oh, that's that's really nice. Let's go and turn it off. Um, yeah, I love it. Oh, you can see it's retracting. That's a nice crane. Do I need to turn the systems off? Maybe. I don't know what it's doing now. Let's jump up there. If we can. And maybe it's just, oh, it's actually, it's putting itself away. That's cool. And I wonder if it goes and locks into the legs, go and close. I wonder. So I didn't see any buttons for the legs. There's a main switch there. It's still tucking itself away there. As you can see, okay, I'm guessing it's gonna to go to that connector. There it is. Yep, there we go. And it goes, oh, that, that's a nice, very smooth, very, very smooth design there. Let's go and see how this thing drives. So, close the door, um, parking's good, warning signals, cruise control, select gear. Okay, so up and down. So, I should be able to just go now. Yep, that's in first. Second, okay, it's automatically changing. Ah, look at that. It seems to be driving quite well. I like the gearbox system. You don't have to mess around with gearboxes. Go and take it. Let's put some brakes on, see how it handles off road to. Oh, the cab suspension is also cool. Look at. So you can try and get a little bit of a jump here. Look at the cab suspension. That is cool. I don't know how he's done that. But, oh, that's a really good truck. Handling really well. Looks awesome. Has everything you need. Oh, I, don't know, I keep on saying, but that suspension on the on the cab is awesome. It's nice and quick. Automatic gearbox. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely a really nice truck. Uh, definitely go check that one out. Let's go and let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the 8037 Swamp Cat 
This is an awesome creation. I can see it's done by a content creator called Beep Grover. Uh, it seems like it's a independent suspension vehicle uh, with tracks on there to go pretty much on any terrain you want. Uh, it seems like it's got a gas turbine hybrid system inside there. Cruise speed about 80 to 90 kilometers, he says. Uh, there's also a max speed about 190. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things inside there, cargo compartments, transportations, all these different kinds of cool things, uh, weather stations, uh, maps, uh, all kinds of cool things. So let's go, let's spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of stomachs. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks very unusual, very different from what we're used to in stomachs, but absolutely cool, very menacing and very unusual, cool. Um, we seem to have like four track pieces on either side. Uh, along with that is some suspension pieces. We seem to have wheels on the sides, a main cab here in the center. Um, oh, that's cool. Okay, um, come back to that. It seems like a whole bunch of logic and stuff underneath it. Uh, we have the obviously the name on the side there. I love the writing, the font there it looks really good. We also have the back, so what is that? A ramp platform 180. Oh, that's cool. So it goes and drop down for us. That was cool, platform. Okay, and uh, uh, hello. I want it back. What's 180? Okay. Okay, so 180, so if you wanna load some car, that, that's nice. Let's get ramp and let's go back down. I'm gonna close this hatch here in the front now. Because uh, I don't think I'll need to come into it. So let's close that. Oops. Okay. And drop that down. Get in it. So what do we have in here? So winch system. Uh, I don't know where that is. Equipment, clothing. Okay. Two-sided button door. Okay. We have some seats, some more equipment, a top hatch. Going to the next room. So we have a bookcase with a little light panel at the top. Some beds, some more light panels, another door, connect the head. Oh, so the head can disconnect. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we have a weather system, okay, and a map. Okay, so the weather system actually goes on top of the map. Okay, uh, let's go and get out of here and let's disconnect that. Does that disconnect us? Huh. From there, oh no, let's go and disconnect us just in case we're not meant to have that. Okay, so disconnected. What oh, use for that? That's pretty cool. Uh, let's. Oops. Uh, what am I doing? I want to get back in, please. Okay. Uh, and let's go and close that. So we have engine on off, water intake. Okay. We have throttle power. The seats, water cannon, lights, connect the head. Okay, that's the button we use. 24 by 9 and handbrake. Okay, so where is he going? And oh, so the cargo goes underneath it. Okay, that's fair enough. We have, okay, hot seats, uh, brake, two's HUD. Okay, so we have our HUD. Data, fuel, tank, map. Nice. Let's go back to data. Turn my light, thick light off. Sport mode, cargo mode, cargo mode. Oh, okay, so it goes and lifts itself up there. Okay, uh, sport mode goes and gets just makes it a little bit more meaner. Uh, water cannon, nice, put it fires and exit and enter. Okay, that will just drop the seat down. Okay, so is the brake on? I don't even know. It's not a light or anything for it, so I don't know. Okay, I think we can just go to be honest. Uh, set max RPS from 25 plus crazy mode. Okay, so we shouldn't need to do anything. I should be able to move forward. Yep, there we are. Oh wow, that's loud though. So jet engines. Oh, that's cool. Have a look at the suspension, how it's turning when we turn. Oops. Oh, okay, almost dropped it. That is awesome. Look at that. It's very quick actually. That is cool. I love how it's bobbing around and moving. Let's put it in uh, cargo mode. So that just goes and moves it a little bit higher. Seems to be a little bit more steady to be honest. Um, okay, I'm guessing it can go in water too. Let's go and put it out of cargo mode and into sport mode. So that just makes it a little bit more aggressive looks like. I wonder how it's going to be able to tackle trees. Okay, didn't like that. Let's go in reverse. 
Okay, I like how it can just go in reverse and turn and stuff. I guess he's using electric motors. Um, I could be wrong though. And generators and stuff like that. But yeah, this is awesome. I love that. Look at that. Oh, that is oh, that is nice. Oh, definitely. I haven't seen that before here in Stormworx. Um, it seems like he's got a cool... I'm guessing those wheels just are to help... Oops. To help prevent, obviously, falling over and stuff. Uh, we couldn't get up that big climb. Which doesn't seem like it damaged anything. Which is pretty good. So that's good. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's definitely going to go over this climb. Yeah, even at the speed. Yep, no issues at all. Very interesting creation. Really cool. Definitely something we haven't seen before. Oh, look at that. I'm going to turn left and right. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's stop over there. Let's put the brake on. And let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the icon A5. And this is a plane done by a content creator called Thales. Now, this is meant to be his recreation of the Icon A5 Amphibious Light Sport Aircraft LSA. Uh, a couple different features in there. Apparently, it's not amphibious at the moment due to its size. Uh, we have folding wings, landing gear, there's GPS autopilot, altitude hold, half an hour flight time. Uh, so, quite a cool different things. There's, as I said, GPS autopilot, so that's interesting to see. Uh, so, it definitely looks really cool. Obviously, foldable, nice and compact. So, let's go spawn this and see how it flies here in the world of Stormax. And spawning in the Icon plane, you can see this thing is tiny absolutely tiny look how small it is um oh it looks incredible too it's got a nice little design in the very small windows um but yeah going around it doesn't seem like it has much seems like we just have fuel hatch um simple just opening up of the fuel and electricity um some fin rudders the propeller here at the back seems like it's angled and that's about it um canopy seems like sensors underneath it it's going to get in the canopy so wow okay it's got a lot of things going on here so close the canopy up uh we seem to have nav lights strobe lights landing taxi lights interior lights we have instrument lights flare launch front view camera throttle master switch heaters gps oil pan altitude hold we might as well test that in a couple minutes so let's go and put uh, let's go there and let's put our altitude at 150 and let's put our autopilot on why not we'll test that just now and we have fuel battery collective rps flaps position flaps up flaps down that's it uh and then hot seats normal stuff start or throttle up throttle down parking brake land again folding wings get okay, folding wings we want to see unclipping turning and folding nice and compact unfold perfect works like a charm let's go and get this thing started so i think we need to get our throttle up started there okay so that's good oops uh brakes 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 where is parking brake four okay and we should be able to let's see if we can taxi almost get the throttle down a bit get to the runway here and we shouldn't need that much room really now, I don't know if I can turn it on the ground. Oh, okay, there we go. So I can turn it using our A and Ds. Let's go throw up one more. Oh, it looks awesome. So tiny and small too. Okay, we're nearly at the runway. Should we go left? Yeah, let's go right. Okay, and let's go and make a big turn here. Okay, and... That is very smooth, very smooth. Okay, let's get our throttle all the way up. Okay, we should be good. And we might need to get our throttle up here. Oh, yeah, okay, and take off. Come on, take off. No. Take off, take off, take off, take off. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's quite sensitive. That's awesome. Uh, is this? Okay, so altitude hold. Yep, there we are. And I'll altitude get the lights off for taxiing. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's go and test the autopilots. Yep, it's just going to go and should just go and turn there. 
Alright, let's get the landing gear up. Oh, so cute. Oh, that's really cool. That's a nice little creation. You can go and store that wherever you want. Pity it doesn't land on water, but that's obviously not his fault. It's just a, it's a barrier in game. You can't have this small of a creation with so much stuff. It just will sink. Um, yeah, but that's a that's a lovely little creation. It flies well. You see, it's flying perfectly there. Oh, okay. Let's turn the altitude hold off and see how much we can manipulate it here. Yep. Seems to be fine. Yeah, that's a nice little creation. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick That is awesome. I love this little thing. It's really cute. And flies like a dream too, which is nice. Um, seems like it's definitely obviously got a very compact engine inside there. Using some ropes and things to obviously go and do that. Um, yeah, awesome creation. Definitely, definitely go check that one out. Maybe add it to your creations and so on and so forth. Um, barrel roll, yeah, handles it perfectly fine. Awesome. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the Hubro E11. This is a creation done by Content Creator called Logs. Once again, in the top five weekly for the third time in a row now with one of his Humbro uh, VTOR fighters or jets. So it's really cool he's back in here again. Now this is a different version, once again. This is meant to be a um, fast and armed VTOR high speed about 440 knots uh so really quite good in its speed um different couple features in there interactive maps parachutes refilling ports the usual stuff we see uh on all of his creations so i'm interested to see how this one varies uh it seems like it has some rockets in there also it seems like it's also a little bit of a smaller version in comparison to the other two versions we've already checked out so let's go and spawn this in and see how it flies here in the world of stormworks and spawning in the last creation of the episode we can see we have the fighter jet uh from logs now much smaller than his other versions that we've already checked on the last previous ones um obviously same level of detail and the same coolness going around it nice small little cockpit here seems like we have the jet engines going around we also seem to have some missiles on this one missiles look very familiar um but they're yeah really cool it seems to have some refueling hatches and some paint blocks underneath it uh going around landing gear of course we just have the jet turbines here at the back. Seems like some flares he's gone added in there. Nothing else really going on. Uh, it doesn't look like it has much of an interior, but that's fine. Uh, we don't need it to have one. Let's see where we can get in, to be honest. Uh, I'm guessing we jump up. So let's see. So up on top. Yep, there we go. And uh, let's go and open the cockpit up. Seems to have a refueling hatch here at the top too. Uh, so in the cockpit we have passenger seats and parachutes and some fuel. Uh, we actually have three three seats wow okay uh, along with that we have the compact pilot seat and a bunch of things going in here so we have power up let's wait for that power up of okay, course so we have a screen in here we need to have that uh range vital rps boost rps fuel battery altitude knots altitude hold might as well test that out so 100 landing gear ground brake uh, hold speed boost engines disable stabilization vital engines Nav lights, why not? Max throttle, throttle, VTOL engines, fire decoy flares, front lights, yeah, why not? Okay, let's get our VTOL engines on and try and close the canopy, okay? So, we'll close the canopy there. Perf oh, another screen here, wow. Uh, it's all chilled, autopilot, oh, cool. Throttle seems okay. Can we just go and raise? Yeah, of course we can. Super steady. Nice. Let's try the alt hold. And might as well try the autopilot at the same time. So I think you have to push it on the map here. Mm, reset. Can I press it? Should be able to then go. Designation reached. Uh, hold on. No, reset. Uh, uh, autopilot off. Can I reset it? Hmm. Because surely, yeah, it's reset. I should be able to press it there if I'm correct. I don't know. I might be doing something wrong with that. Um, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, really cool. Oh, there we go. This is autopilot there. 
Okay, I thought you could place it on the map. Um, let's go and put the autopilot on. There we go, destination. Flying by itself, nice and easy. Pretty simple, looks awesome, really does. Oh, landing gear, we need to get up. Uh, landing gear is one. Cool, let's go and disable the autopilot here. I wanna test out the rockets. So we're turning here. And let's go and turn there and let's put our rockets on. So enable rockets. So rockets apparently are enabled now. And we can just go and fire them. So fire rockets. Dunk. Oh. And where is it going? Oh, in the tree. I can fire all of them. Oh, that's awesome. Really cool. Really, really cool. Love, love these designs. You can see underneath it looks awesome. Obviously, there's paint blocks underneath there too. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much about it for for this one. You can see his VTOL is going and increasing there. Nice and steady. Yeah, really nice one. Love to see this, obviously. I love to see this added to the, the whole group of all his VTOLs that he has, all his jets that he has in, the, in his collection. Uh, and yeah, really good one to end this episode off with. So then we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it so entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.